well, we are responsible for social welfare of South African citizens uh, in general, and, and therefore in a case like this, we still have some citizens who are outside of the country, so we'll be looking out for those who are in distress, working together with the Department of International Relations. There's four particular cases of those who could not board the plane, I can imagine the pain um, having been left behind, but we are in contact with them. They are, they are in good uh, space, but also we've been in contact with the families uh, of those four who were uh, left behind. As a department, we have under us uh, what we call the Disaster Relief Fund, and therefore the announcement that was made therefore enables us to look at what support we need to do in terms of supporting our, our communities. Uh, we do uh, render statutory services such as counseling uh, services to infected and affected persons. We render integration and reunification of the persons who have been isolated or placed under quarantine uh, to prevent this uh, stigmatization. And I think that's one of the things that's going to be a something that we monitor when those who have uh, come out of the quarantine, we have to assist there. We also monitor behavioral change of persons declared healthy through the random screening. I think the, the announcement uh, by the president in relation to uh, schools and the announcement obviously made by Minister of um, a basic education also affects us in one way or the other because we are also responsible for early childhood uh, development centers and therefore our centers will have to uh, follow that. And that uh, our starting point uh, this morning with the officials was that they have to take care of themselves first so that they can be able to render the services to everybody else. So it's important that uh, the, the health issues which are being raised is not something that they do in the outside. They start that uh, within uh, uh, them. We also have uh, stakeholders who we have to engage because we've got child and youth care centers, shelters, one-stop centers, treatment centers, and, and those will be affected all by, by the president's uh, yeah. announcement. We also take care of old age homes and older persons and we've got non-governmental organizations that we work with, so we'll have to step up in the communication with them as to what will be expected of them. And then we've got, of course, essential services under SASA. We've got the pay points. And uh, as declared, we must implement uh, the hygienic measures. And we met already this morning, um, the Department, National Development Agency, and SASA. And we also have to contact and get in touch with all social workers and we've got a DSD command center, which will be provided with information and training on COVID-19 to disseminate accurate information to the colleagues and the public center. And therefore, lastly, we also will provide the psychosocial support services where it is needed because that's part of our responsibility uh, as a department. Lastly, we would like to say that as a department of social development, this is a test for many other issues issues of hygiene and health, we think that this would be a time for us to step up in our communities to assist our communities to understand that cleanliness and hygiene is something that government cannot do by making announcements. Our uh, citizens must step up in all our areas. They must step up because our citizens must also take responsibility. We're doing the best as government, but they also need to take responsibility and make sure that um, everything is in order. Schools are going to be closing. One of the important issues is that when schools close, some parents leave their children to run around. It's a time for parents to take responsibility. We know the challenge is that some of them uh, won't know what to do because they have to work to go to, but they must take responsibility. We can't have children running around and, and finding themselves exposed. This is the time when parents need to take responsibility. Thank you.